Congressman Mark Pocan is with us for the hour, taking your calls, middays with Mark on the Tom Harbin program. Walter in Cupertino, California, listening at 9, 10 a.m. out of San Francisco. You are on the air with Congressman Pocan. Uh, thank you, Congressman. Um, I'm wondering why it seems that the Democrats keep, in my mind, burying the lead or misstating what happened. What happened was Trump betrayed America. OK, it wasn't that he wanted this favor so he could get dirt on an opponent. He's just carrying out Putin's plan to destabilize the Ukraine. Uh, if he got some public announcement of an investigation that he could use, that's just icing on the cake. But it, it was a plan from Putin, I believe, to put this Zelensky new uh, person in an untenable position where he was forced to compromise himself, thereby corrupt his government, to get the aid to defend against Russia. If he didn't, then Russia had the advantage because there was no aid to help them defend against Russia. And then they would have to uh, enter in some agreement with Russia at a much weaker stage. So the emphasis, I think, should be not on um, this was a plan where the president tried to get dirt on an opponent because all of Trump's supporters don't care if that happened. What it should be is there was a betrayal of America. He was selling out an ally. He's just uh, a tool for Putin. So I'm wondering why isn't that the messaging? Sure, uh, Walter, I think that is for the most part. Uh, we've been saying he's betrayed his oath of office. He broke the law, um, bribery or extortion, depending on how you look at it, uh, and that he put our national security at risk uh, as well as, the, as Ukraine's national security. The one difference I think I would have with where, where how you're explaining it, while we know that Russia has tried to put out this uh, myth that the Ukraine really interfered in the elections because that's what Russia does, and they're trying to deflect, um, I don't think that's why Donald Trump did it. I think uh, from reading the Mueller report, if you read it, he was obsessed with the fact that he would look like an illegitimate president if Russia somehow helped him. So he's been doing everything possible to prove that he is not an illegitimate president because he got assistance from Russia, that he is a big boy and did this on his own. And because of it, in his, his ego and his narcissism, uh, he is obsessed on this subject. That is my personal opinion, but I truly think that that's the real efforts to why he's put out this narrative. And along the way, if he can use this to get dirt on a political opponent and, again, have an in a campaign, he clearly has no problem with that. 